Hey, hey, everybody, this is 2nd of September, Lead Code Daily Challenge. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think. I'm going to be doing this all month uh, and probably a little bit longer. Um, yeah, let me know what you think. Um, I usually solve it live, so if it's a little bit slow, just watch it on a faster speed or a slower speed, whatever you need to do. Okay, so given a unique binary search tree to return all structurally unique binary that has at least n of unique lies from 1 to n. Return the answer in any order. Okay. So, I mean, I think the first thing to kind of get uh, acquainted to it is something called the Caradan numbers. Um, just Google this, I suppose. Um, but it, 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 it will let you describe the number of Caradan trees. Um, and I forget how it is, actually. I remember the first couple of sequence but let's see so basically for n you goes to 8 it goes pretty fast but I've, I've yeah so if you look look it up then here's the first numbers in the sequence and that is to say uh, 8 is like here right which is to say that it is small enough to be brute forceable as long as you do it in a smart way okay uh, one, two, one, two, three. Uh, and it has to be a search tree. Hmm. Hmm. Did I mess that up? Uh, yeah. But yeah, so then the idea is that, okay, so why do we do, do this exercise? The reason why we did this exercise is just so that we can show that um, brute force is going to be fast enough is the idea. Um, and that's pretty much the idea because if the brute force is good enough, then we can just brute force. Okay, and, and we start by... Uh, yeah, we start by just uh, choosing the uh, root number and then we kind of... Uh, how, how do they how do they want us to return this? Okay, just like the root node or something? Hmm. This is very awkward though. Maybe mm. It's a very awkward thing because you have to return the root and then you have to create it multiple times and stuff like that. Um hmm. Let me think. Would well, that make sense? Cause if I'm gonna do it recursively then um, if I do it recursively, uh, you know, you have to make an instant of the tree from the root. I guess that's okay, right? Maybe? Hmm. Yeah, I guess so. This is pretty awkward, though. But Okay, fine. Um, but yeah, the idea is that, okay, you have a, you know, let's just call it recursion. Let's just call it go for now, node for node, and... And then maybe just like a um, min and a max, right? We have an answer thing that we keep track of. And then... Hmm. And then it's just a for loop, right? If, if you go to mx, then we just have one loop or one node. So then we, uh, how do I, hmm, how do I know if all the numbers, this is very awkward. Let me think about this for a second. Hmm. So I can brute force this in a way that makes sense. It's just about taking a snapshot to take each of the root every time. Um, hmm. Well, it's basically the idea of what I want to write. Let's just return nothing for now. Um, what I want to write is something like for x is in range from, is it 1? or Yeah, okay, 1. 1 to n plus 1 to be inclusive. Then we basically have, a say, a root node. 
is equal to uh, what is it? Tree node of x, and then root dot left is equal to uh, go of I don't know root, and then it goes from one to x minus one on the left, and then something like this, right? Uh, oops, x plus 1 and then and hmm. so we have something like this is kind of how we want to do it and then I hmm. I guess there's nothing to it it's just we have to get all, all these possible trees and then just combine them in a good way. Okay, fine. I thought there may be something that clever that I can do, but maybe not. So yeah, so left trees is equal to this. We do right trees is equal to this. And then answer, uh, and then now we have to do every combination of left trees and the right trees to combine them. Yeah. I think that's right. So yeah, so then for left tree and left trees, root dot left is equal to left tree, root dot, uh, and then we need to do another for loop. Yeah. So I'm writing this in a way poor way, to be honest. So I'm, I don't, I hope that this is an interesting video. Um, because I, I think I'm saying this in a really poor way. Not gonna lie. Okay, so we don't actually do this. We do it here. Okay, that's what I'm doing wrong. Okay, so root dot left is equal to left tree. Root dot right is equal to right tree, and then answer dot append root. Right. So this is the top step thing, um, and then now we have to implement the um, the recursion. So now, what does this go mean? This go uh, returns or return all possible trees of mn to mx, and you can actually make an optimization here. To be honest, um, if you really if you know what you're doing, because as we said, these are counted numbers, so it only actually the number of possible trees only matter between the number of delta so then here you can take this and then in theory like for example if there's five numbers in between it's always going to look the same um so then you can kind of like do an offset instead so that you add every number by that um but i'm eh, i'm not gonna eh, you can play around with that if you like um because that is just more co uh, complexity so then here for now i'm gonna write something like trees is equal to emptiness and then this is the same thing, which is that four left tree in, no, oh, oops. Hmm, let me think about this for a second. What happens if you have an empty list? Because right now we don't have an empty list or like we don't handle that correctly. Um, so we might have to do it. Hmm. Well, this can only be empty if the number is empty, right? So we just put it in the trees. Okay, I think that's fine. Um, and you'll see what I mean in a second, I guess. Uh, okay, so M, if the min is greater than max, that means that there are no elements. because So then we just return this. I think that should be good. Otherwise, uh, this is the total trees. Left trees is equal to go of... I don't know why we have a node. Hmm. I guess we don't really need the node. I was thinking that we did for some reason, but but I I am wrong. So I did uh, I didn't really think about this ahead of time, and I usually solve this live, like I said. Um. So and this is a problem that I haven't done in, in quite like this in a while, or at least not because usually I do recursion that's similar to this, but then. You don't really have to recreate the structure of the tree, uh, at least, and make it a copy every time. So this is something that I didn't really think about it in quite these ways, but yeah. So let's think about this. 
So what is this thing? So now we have to look at the middle element again, right? So this is for MN, MX plus one, because we want it to be inclusive. Then now, in this case, left trees is equal to MN to X minus one again, uh, right trees uh, is equal to go of M, uh, X plus one to max plus Oh, no, no, not plus one. Um, actually, and we don't even need this to be frank. I think we can actually just uh, return go of from one to n inclusive, and then we don't need this anymore. Um, and then now we go basically what we said before, and I'll, I'll, I'm going to explain what I did in a second, but for now. Um, this is what I'm gonna do. A node is equal to three node of x. But basically, it's just brute force, but trying to do it in a clever way, which I failed. Uh, but I am rewriting it, so hopefully, this this at least makes some sense. Uh, left is equal to left tree. No, that right is equal to right tree. Return. Oh no, not yet. Return trees. So trees is uh, dot append of node because this this is the new root of the node. So yeah, so let's give it a spin. Uh, I don't know if this is right. Well, okay, it is right if we literally get everything. But but it, because it's only eight, we're gonna try all of them, I suppose, um, both for correctness and also one time. I guess this is good. Hmm. So yeah, so, so this looks good. So let's give it a submit. Hmm. Uh, yeah, so this looks good. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, we got to accept it. So I got a phone call real quick. Uh, so I had to ignore it because it's only spam. Who gets a phone call nowadays anyway? Uh, especially at the middle of the night. Um, random number. Anyway, so yeah, so this is just a brute force, and I think I, I didn't really think about this in a good way, to be honest. Um, but yeah, and basically, once I uh, able to kind of ask myself what I really want to answer, and that is to return all possible tree from one to uh, some number. Then we can do this thing, and then we can just literally, it's just a brute force, right? Because this is the trees, dump all possible trees. And on the left side, these are all possible trees on the left side. These are all possible trees on the right side. And then we literally, you know, n square them, not really n square, but just all, get all combination and then put them to the left to the right and then create a new tree. Um, yeah. Uh, so what is the complexity of this? It's going to be hard. It's a little bit tough to say, but to be honest, it is roughly speaking. It, it should be roughly speaking all of canon and numbers, which is a weird thing to say, but this is, uh, you know, uh, yeah. Uh, because for each possible... Because there are kind of not, not numbers of them, right? And then for each of them, we we create a new space. So this is going to be our fan. Um, and of course, we look at each. So we look at each tree once, because each tree is that even true? Maybe I'm lying about this. Hmm. I'm not quite sure. I think and, and kind of not numbers is uh, n cube, I think. So this is going to be probably n to the fourth. Is my guess. Um, hmm. But this is a very awkward looking thing, so I'm not quite sure uh, in the worst case. Uh, that I mean, at least you get the honesty from me, but but it is very brute force. My guess is either it's n to the fourth or n to the fifth uh, in, because of some weirdness here. Uh, maybe you take a look, but yeah. Um, but yeah, but basically the idea is just brute force implementation, even though this is a very slow uh, one, but once I get the idea, um, it should be okay. And like I said, you can actually uh, do some things where this you can only you only care about the min and the offset and then you can uh, or just the offset and then using the min you could cut you could do some math to kind of copy over the trees if you like but um, 
But yeah, that's all I really have for this one. Let me know what you think. This is a really weird one because, again, because you have to generate the trees, not just like something that takes care of the structure. Uh, a more common problem that kind of use this structure or use this kind of uh, recursion is um, going to be more related to dynamic programming um, or like parentheses and brackets and so forth. Uh, let me know what you think. That's all I have for this one. Uh, it's a little bit tricky. I don't think I explained it that well. But anyway, we're going to be here all, all month. So come join me on Discord or just on the YouTube. Leave comments. Ask me questions. Let me know what you think. Anyway, stay good. Stay healthy. To good mental health. I'll see you later. Take care. Bye-bye.